G'day, Starlo here. I'm hitting my local beach to put a new rod through its paces. <laughs> and I'm pretty excited about it too. I was in Shimano headquarters last year presenting some segments for their virtual tackle tour. And I spotted a little quiver of prototype rods, Dia Luna rods, and I picked them up and had a bit of a shake and I was just blown away, particularly by the nine footer and the 10 footer. And I said to myself, as soon as stocks of those come into the country, I've got to get hold of one. So I've got the 10 footer here. Look, they're not an inexpensive rod, but they're just one of those things at the moment you pick them up, you fall in love with them. Well, I did anyway. I love this style of rod. I've been a big fan of the uh, coastline lights and the light surf rods and a few of the Shimano ranges, and this one just seems to take it to the next level. I'll put all the specs and everything down below and also in the description in the comments. I've hit the beach right on the bottom of the tide, overcast. It's only about 8.30 in the morning, it's not particularly early. I thought I'd wait until the tide bottomed out and then fish the rising tide. There's not much swell, looks all right. There's a bit of formation there. Let's see what we can catch, but more importantly, let's see how this Dia Luna performs. I've got a running sinker rig and some prawns and pilchards for bait and I'm reasonably confident of catching something in that near shore gutter. It looks pretty good to me. Oh and wow, does that Dia Luna make casting easy. Just roll the arms over and out she goes. It's a lovely sensitive rod too. I feel like I'm really in touch with the bait and I can easily feel the sinker rolling across the sand. <laughs> However, what I'm not feeling are any bites, not so much as a nibble. Even the seagulls are growing bored. It's just not happening. I reckon I should probably pull stumps, head home, and try again somewhere else. <laughs> Fact is, you can't catch them every time. Well here I am on the beach again with the Dia Luna and it's so windy it just blew my camera over. <laughs> Pick it up, get as much of the sand off as I can and try that again. Sheesh. Well here I am on the beach again with the Dia Luna rod and it is shocking conditions. Quite a strong southerly change has come through in the early hours of the morning and it's belting up the coast. Not really the ideal time to be on the beach, but I've got some worms, some beach worms that uh, Roger Osborne gave me after a session last night. There's a nice little gutter here on Conjola Beach <laughs> and I'm gonna give it a go, despite the conditions. Apologies in advance for the wind noise on the mic, it's gonna be bad. All right. You can see the inshore gutter here with the waves breaking on the sandbar just beyond it. Just on the back of this sandbar here looks all right. That'll do. And as it turns out, I don't have very long to wait. Oh, bites. Here we go. Got him. Not very big. This one certainly won't break any records. Ah, little whiting. Mm -hmm. I reckon he's undersized, but it's promising. 
Go, mate. Go, 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 go. Woo! <laughs> Still enough bait left on the hook for another cast as well. Oh, yeah, come on, come on, come on. Don't muck around with it. Got him! What have we got? Not real big. I love the sensitivity of this rod. It's like a little, oh, it was a little whiting and it came off. There's definitely a few out there and hopefully some bigger ones. Notice how I pick up the line with my finger to feel for the bites. <laughs> and they don't take long to come. Oop, there's a bite. Oop. Oh, come on. Oop, still there. This is a different, this is something different. Oh, what are you doing? Just playing with the bait. Got him. Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, oh. Might be a flathead, is it? It was a de definitely a different bite to the white. Oh, no, it's a little stingray. Uh, I should have known from the bites. <laughs> Those slow, sucky pool bites. Flapper. You need to be careful with them, even at that size. Nasty spines. Now, let's see if I'm going to get my hook back. I don't think so. He swallowed it. Far better off just to leave the hook in there. And I'll use my rod butt to steer him for the water, there we go, as soon as he feels that water, he knows what to do, and off he goes, to get rid of that hook, it's non-stainless, so it'll rust out very quickly, far better off to do that than try and do surgery on him. But right now I need a new hook and another bait, so back up to the gear for a re-rig. With a new hook tied to my 8 pound leader and a fresh beachworm bait, I'm quickly back into the fray. I'm really enjoying fishing with this rod, it feels great, casts well, and it's excellent at pinning even timidly biting fish, <laughs> regardless of their size. Dear oh dear. There must be a heap of these little whiting in the gutter, but it's really important to handle them all carefully, unhook them gently and put them back to keep growing. These may well be next year's keepers. I hope so. Okay, wait for the wave. Off you go. They're coming thick and fast. Huh. Another tiny one. Oh yes, straight away. Feels like another little whiting. Not big at all. Oh, tiny. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> so good to see them though. Tiny again. Oh, I found whiting kindergarten. A little bit bigger than the last one, but not much. How many of these are out there? Surely there has to be a better one. Aha! This one's a bit bigger. Are you a keeper? Oh yeah! He's a keeper. <laughs> Well and truly legal. 
Very good. That'll be the first part of my dinner tonight. Very next cast, I pin something different. Oh, that's a better fish. This one's pulling a bit. That's a brim. Just wait for the wave. Bring him up. Now, depending on how he's hooked, we might keep him. No, he's hooked pretty lightly. I think I'll let him go. Much rather eat whiting. Mind you, lovely silvery brim like that off the beach would be pretty good. <laughs> Alright mate, your lucky day. Another bait, another cast and another hooker. Well, the conditions aren't getting any better. They're probably getting worse actually. And the fish are still biting, a lot of little ones, and the odd better one like that. Oh yeah, well and truly legal. Got to be 27 here in New South Wales. My span is 23 and a half, and yeah, he's way past, uh, past that, so he's certainly legal. Probably about a 29er. No, oh, I might get a meal together yet. As it turned out, those two keeper whiting were all I ended up with, but the four fillets did make a lovely meal. I'd hardly put the new dial lunar rod under a lot of pressure, but it had been a nice little shakedown, and I can't wait to get back on the beach or rocks with it. I'll put all the stats in the description and comments below, along with details of my overall setup. Meanwhile, if you like the look of this style of finesse surf fishing, be sure to check out these two earlier videos of mine and consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time, this is Starlo wishing you tight lines.